What is up guys, CP Cool here, back to GM with another video. <clears throat> and in the last video, I opened some Vivid Voltage cards, and I got some nice pulls. So today, I have three Darkness Ablaze, a Rebel Clash, and a Sword and Shield base set, all to open up in today's video. We are going to start it off, like a little mix-up here. I am going to finish it off with the Darkness Ablaze, and we will start with the Sword and Shield base set. We'll go oldest to newest. Okay? Do it that way. No idea what we can get in this opening. So we're going to see what pulls we can get. White and green code card on that Sword and Shield base set pack. So that could be pretty good for us, guys. And as I've been doing in the last video, we put those white and green code card packs in. Save them for last. So I'm going to open the packs up. And when we get a solid green, I'll go right through the pack. But if we get a white and green, I'll set it down and we will save them for the end. So as you can see, Rebel Clash had a solid green code card in it, or I'll just call it Rebel Trash, and that means we got nothing in this pack. So I'm just gonna go with a Leaf-type energy, and it was a nice little Metal-type energy there. Set him up there. Nugget, Tranquil, Horror Energy, Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, Impidimp, Shinx, Coughing Reverse, a nice little Trevenant regular rare action going on. So, not an amazing pack. Not too good, but also not very bad. Uh, I'll find a different spot to set all that. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Yes, I believe so. Now I got the Darkness of Blaze. Is there anything in our Darkness of Blaze packs today? We will find out. So the first pack here is going to go ahead and have a solid green code card. So that means that pack is not going to have anything good. So we will flip through this one and see what we can go ahead and pull. I'm going to go with a fire type energy. We got a fighting type energy. So Corvusquire, Lunatone, Struggle, Gloves, Wishy Washy, Kufont, Sinistee, Feebas, Passimian, Corvusquire Reverse, and nice little Kling Kling, regular rare there. Haven't opened Darkness Ablaze in a little while, so this is a nice little mix-up with some slightly older packs, and I'm glad to be able to get into these. These are reprints. As you can see, they have the UK Kenda little logo because the new company has started packaging. And yeah, these are reprint packs, so they're much, like, less good quality. They kind of, like, fall apart as you open them, which I'm not a big fan of. And the codes are flipped around. And I do not show my codes usually, but I will show this code card, guys, because it's flipped around. We got Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze code card right there. Go ahead and claim it if it isn't claimed already. It was a solid green code, so there's nothing too great in this pack. Um, let's go with a nice little water type energy. We did get the Gusty Energy, that's very nice. A lot of Gusty Energies lately. Vibrava, Turbo Patch, Billowing Smoke, Teddy Ursa, Trap Inch, Vanillite, Galette, Pan Sage, nice little Vibrava, and a Galarian Surface Regular Rare, which I believe I did need for Darkness Ablaze. It's a very nice card. I do like it. The last little Darkness Ablaze pack here is another reprint pack. And I believe this was out of a little two pack thing from. Bowl greens that had a cinnamon base set in it as well. So we're going to see if these can pay off or not. Now, code card slipped around, so I will give it away to you guys. You guys can go ahead and claim that code card if it isn't claimed already. And it's a solid green code. So that Sword and Shield base set is going to be our only hope for today's video. Lightning. Another water type energy. This little Corvusquire. Pupitar. Combuskin. Carablast, Ducklet, Jigglypuff, Trap Inch, Torchic, Dugtrio Reverse Uncommon, and a Mimikyu Regular Rare in that pack. So the final pack is going to be the only white and green code. It was a Sword and Shield base set. So we're going to go through these cards nicely. Um, let's set that nice rare down there, and we'll see what it is at the end. So we're going to go with a... I'm going to guess Psychic type energy, but we'll go to that last. Our reverse was an energy switch, so not a bad reverse hollow. And I'm going to get through the rest of these cards. We got 
a Maractus, a Sobble, a Galarian Ponyta, Mawile, Shelder, Dottler, Energy Switch, Quillfish, and let's see if it's Psychic. Ooh, Fire-type Energy. Does that mean Fire Pulls, guys? We're going to go ahead and find out right now. We're going to see if we got a Fire Pull in this pack or not. Let's go ahead and check it out just in a second after I organize these cards a little bit so they're ready for me to put away after the video's over. So I have a much easier time organizing and putting the cards away in the collection. So let's flip this card around and see what we went ahead and pulled out. Oh, it's just a Marnie Hollow. Dang it. Not too good of a video, guys. But I'm not going to go ahead and hate on it. I still think we got some great pulls in the last video. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the last video's pulls right now. If you have not seen that video, before I show you the pulls, go check out the video linked at the end of this one. And you guys can see the pulls that we went ahead and got out. So we had that Galarian Darmanda's Hand V in the last video. Very nice. Hollow Genesect. Reverse Jolteon, which I think is really cool. Uh, Charmeleon, three Charmanders, and those were just cards I believe I didn't have for the binder. So that's why those are sitting there. Okay, not a bad opening, guys. I really think we got some amazing pulls today, and I totally recommend going and checking out my channel, my brother's channel, and my friend's channel, linked in the video description down below. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell notification icon or button so you get notified every single time a new video goes up. And I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully. And bye. See ya.